Hello everybody, today I would like to encourage you from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. It says, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. In this letter to Timothy, specifically in this verse, Paul highlights three beautiful things that we ought to do. The first thing is to present ourselves to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed of, um, of the gospel and one who correctly handles the word of truth. And today I would like to ask to focus specifically on correctly handling the word of truth. And I believe this is an area that we often lack and fall short as believers because we don't understand how powerful the word of God is. John 1.1 1, 1 helps us understand how powerful the word of God is. It says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So the Bible is not just a bunch of pages that we have to read and just a bunch of knowledge to just know but it is God. The Bible shows us the heart of God, the very essence and the very nature of God. It is God breathed and it inspired by God. So by understanding this and having this knowledge, we ought to live lives worthy and, and, and handle the word of God correctly and truthfully. And we ought to handle the word of God correctly with respect and honor, with diligence and delicacy. How so? Um, I believe the Bible in James 1 verse 22 makes it very clear. Don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourselves. So I believe the, the best way that we can handle God's word um, with the honor and respect it deserves is by doing his word and not just listening to it. Another important thing that I believe helps us handle the word of God truthfully and with diligence is our conduct. Our conduct is an important way in which we can handle the word of God truthfully and with delicacy. Um, how do we handle the word of God with love? Do we have love? Do we have joy? Do we have peace, patience? Do we have kindness? Do we have goodness? Do we have faithfulness? Do we have gentleness? And do we have self-control? I believe that by our fruits, um, that's the best way that we can handle God's word um, with the way that he would like us to handle his word. Thank you. Be encouraged.